Guess who's back? Guido. A while back, Guido closed up their shop in downtown Tokyo and essentially called it quits on the e-reader industry. For a short while, that is. If you want to see the full review of this video, click on the video card up above. But for now, let's take you back a little bit. In 2017 April, Michael and the team at the time at Goody Reader exclusively met with the owners of Guido. There we saw one of the most unique and interesting e-paper products we've ever seen, simply named Guido with a V. This is a dual screen 13.3 inch hinged Wacom enabled e-note that is made exclusively in Japan. This company filled and satisfied the only void in the industry for music enthusiasts. Padmu Europe doesn't count as they're just reselling Onyx devices and even give you a little ziplock with stickers that you use to cover the Onyx logo. Yes, that's actually what happens. Whereas this company caters their units specifically to music enthusiasts. The unit also comes in significantly less than that of the Padmu and comes with a free case. Sales were incredibly strong for the company and the going was good. They had a quality product, quality materials and a quality website. There really were no downsides to the entire operation from marketing to the end delivery of the product. However, for some unforeseen reason to which they did not comment on, in the early 2020s they decided to stop distribution of the product. Sales went on for their stylus pen and their stylus pen only. Years went by and due to the closure of their downtown Tokyo office, they had no viable distributor to sell through. That is until us. Goody Reader is taking the reins on distribution of the Guido. No, we have no corporate affiliation with them, nor are we sponsored by them, but some information has come to light. There are hundreds and hundreds of units from the company that have not yet been sold, breathing new life into this product. The unit features two screens spaced identically apart from each other, connected by a hinge with a flex cable. Both sides are required as certain things will need both screens to operate like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. As you saw in the review, if you look at the end roll, the description down below if you hit that video card earlier on, this unit is a little bit overkill when it comes to the build of everything. And we'll just show you right now. This is so well done. It's a piece of art. The outside has this beautiful textured surface that almost feels like a 2000 grit sandpaper. The hinge is gorgeously built. This thing is tight and geared extremely well. It's super flush. It's very light. It's feather light. It is almost a little bit too much. Not price wise because as we stated it's actually half the price of the competition which is the Padmu that just reuses and recycles hardware. It has an SD card as well and a USB and it has a power button. Not only that, it is super light, it is beautiful to open, and everything works as it should. Because this is a music score, you can't be bothered with physical page turn buttons and there aren't any. What they do is they have these guided laser lights that dictate when you should change pages because when you hover your hand over it that's all you would need to do for example you're playing violin and you need to change page you're not gonna go oh, okay well let me grab uh, my finger or my stylus and get ready for this where's the page turn button no they know that you are reliant and focused on your instrument so you're playing your violin and then you go like that and you change your page because that's what they've intended you go back you don't even need to touch them, although you can. In fact, in the tutorial, they tell you you can also touch it. You can interact with it. Anytime you close the light away from the sensors, it then triggers the page turn. Not only that, as we mentioned, it's Wacom. And in fact, we always use a pen that doesn't go with the unit in every review. In an Onyx, we use iFlyTech. In something else, we'll use something else. This time, we're going to use an Amazon Scribe pen. And this is to keep things fair, to show you that it in it does indeed allow you to take notes on it because it is an e-note and you can take notes on both sides and the palette moves over respectively depending on where you are on each page. You do have some buttons on the bottom as well that allow you to do different features like bring up the pen and eraser, the note display, the score information, etc. And a lot of these are 
catered towards musicians. So a lot of it has to do with scores and score is basically musical score. If you don't know that by now, they that's what you call the sheet music, effectively the whole kind of thing. And when you go home, you do have recently views, recently added tag list, scores, composers, artists, etc. You do have settings. And as you have noticed, this whole thing is in English, but it just depends on what language you speak because it doesn't have to be English. It can be a numerous amount of languages. If you go to language, you can go to change and you get British English, Spanish, you get German, you get French, Italian, Japanese. There are a lot of languages there that you can choose. And as we said earlier, it does require you to have both screens open, not like you can choose because when you do something on one screen, it's going to have to utilize the other screen for different things like settings like when you go to storage when you go to the touch pen score display etc but there's a ton of settings it only has eight gigs on board but you can throw in that SD card and expand it to the moon and back this really is a specimen and it's a testament to how good an e-paper device can very well display itself because this is truly next level when it comes to the build quality the execution of idea and it really is something that should be cherished and appreciated in the world of e-paper. In the end, the Guido has occupied, and still occupies, at least for the time being, a subsector of e-paper that no one else has dabbled in. The only company that comes close to having a dual screen e-paper setup is the E1 Manga Book by Progress Technologies, who have themselves gone out of production in March 2023. Dual screen e-paper is few and far between. We simply don't see any units outside of a $2,000 Lenovo or the $1,700 Philips dual screen monitor, which only has one of the screens in e-paper. While there are hundreds of units in warehouses still yet to be sold, for the time being, the Guido fills both the need of a dual screen technology and being the only product that is viably available to satisfy musicians.